Well, the largest stellar black hole in the Milky Way galaxy has been identified, spotted in the European Space Agency's game mission. This black hole is an incredible 33 times the size of the Sun and is also the second closest known black hole to Earth. To tell us a bit more about the discovery is Australia's astronomer at large, Fred Watson. Fred, good to see you as always. Thank you. It's pretty hard to wrap your head around something being 33 times bigger than the Sun. What else do we know about this black hole? Uh, well, yes, that 33 times means it's a record breaker, uh, certainly in our galaxy. Other m black holes beyond our galaxy are known that are more massive than this. Uh, but the, the real issue is the way this was discovered, because most black holes reveal themselves by the fact that they're gobbling up their surroundings and spitting out large quantities of radiation as a result of that. Uh, this one isn't doing that. It's uh, what we call a quiescent black hole. And the way it was found by exactly as you said, uh, European Space Agency's Gaia mission, which measures the positions of stars very accurately. And it found that one particular star was wobbling around in a way that suggested that it was orbiting something else. And it turns out that what it is orbiting is this, uh, this massive black hole, 33 times the mass of the sun, which has the wonderful name of BH3, uh, being the third black hole discovered by the Gaia spacecraft. Now, if I just remind us, I know there is a very complicated physics explanation behind black holes, but in layman terms, what are they? What's in them? <laughs> I thought you might ask me that. Um, look, they're defined as being... Uh, a black hole is defined as being a point in space that has infinite de uh, density uh, or nearly infinite density. In other words, you know, whereas water has a, a density that we're familiar with, one gram per cc in the old measures that we used to use, black holes have effectively an infinite density. And what that does is it warps the space around them. We know that mass warps space, uh, it bends it, and it bends it in such a way that nothing can escape the black hole, hence the name. In fact, even light, uh, which might be emitted by the black hole, never gets out uh, because of that huge, huge gravitational field. Uh, they're, they're very well named. Uh, they look black. We know that from measurements and observations that have been made. Uh, but what's more perhaps interesting about them is where they came from. Uh, how did this black hole form? We think this particular one would have formed at the end of the life of a normal, fairly normal star. Um, there are things about that star that, uh, that, that, that was the raw material material of the black hole, if I can put it that way. There are things about that star that were unusual, and that might be why it's turned out to be such a massive black hole, 33 times the mass of the sun.